So here is um, another test for glazes on a different clay. This is what we call in the UK lava fleck clay. Um, it's a clay with a um, heavy grog in it so that when the glaze, when it fires, you get the pieces of the grog still showing. It means as well, when you fire something like a white glaze on it, you can the, the glaze doesn't stick to the fleck, so you get this reaction which um, is really um, quite nice. So what I did, I haven't used this for a, a long time, so I've just got, I got back into it to have another go. And this was a test piece that I did um, back in the old days. And this sort of gives you some indication of how some of the glazes, there's the snow. A lot of them are celadons in there. Um, this is the, uh, the olive speckle and the... Um, uh, what's it called deep sienna speckle um, so i've basically done cups and kept it very simple um, firstly we've discussed as well red always runs on the outside so i've made a little cut but i have kept the bottom part of the clay showing as wax resist and i want to see how the red goes but this is just to give you some idea this one is indigo float i've followed some lines i pencil lined that on and i've done three coats on all of these I've got textured turquoise, I've got smoky merlot, I've got deep sierra speckle, which um, that's on the white clay, but we know that it's really nice on the lava fleck. Snow, this one I saw in the, one of the Amico sites and uh, it was iron luster on the bottom and sapphire float. I think I did three and two, so and I've left it a bit like that on the inside, so that's me just playing. Um, and then the deep olive speckle and then the blue rutile. So that sort of gives you guys a bit of an idea of um, the next plan. Again, I'll uh, let you see the, uh, the corresponding um, pictures and that when it comes out of the uh, kiln. So this is uh, five more pots using the lava fleck clay, um, the one with the grog. Um, so just to give you a heads up, that one is on snow with the lava fleck and I had added some blue slip into the cuts that I'd carved out. Okay, going to blue stone, going to deep olive speckle, let's get that lined up. Going to smoky merlot and then last some orange. Inside all of them have got the orange uh, and then, oh, sorry, the, the, the glaze and then the colour on the lid. Kept it simple. Now, on this one, I'm a little bit concerned because I've made a design where I had a little bit of a bit of colour. I know this isn't touching, but and I know blue stone doesn't run too much, but it can move a little bit. So I'm just questioning when I fire it whether I put in a little... Um, cookie and raise that up which I think I'm going to do and then the uh, inside of the snow one okay I will explain this again what lava fleck clay is like so this is a test bowl that I've done in the past this sort of shows you lava fleck um, where the grog is there and it's crushed um, crushed bait pottery I think I believe grog is and it means that these pieces do not uh the, the glaze does not get absorbed so the same way so we get this marks so I'm going to show you this piece because this is just very different I've done this before where I've I've just pipetted color on so on the inside this is the um deep olive speckle on the lava fleck glaze. Look at that. And then on the outside, I've made some press holes and, and, and rib and I've put in that the, um, the deep, um, let me just get the name of this glaze so I'll make sure I get it right. Yeah, sienna speckle, deep sienna speckle. Deep sienna speckle, again, the deep olive speckle. And then on the outside, I have done four glazes. I've done smoky merlot, deep olive speckle, deep sierra speckle, was it sienna speckle? So over there, sienna speckle, and then the deep fire brick.
What's quite interesting is that the kiln was um, a good cone six, wasn't it? And it's actually, the, the clay has got some really lovely reaction to where I've put that on. I'm chuffed a bit with that piece, that's lovely. So then it's all my little pots with my lids. Um, this is the um, the orange, but the lid's not coming off. Because um, that's the deep, the deep um, olive speckle again with the lid. Maybe that'll be the next video, how to get the lids off. Uh, this underneath is the, the cutouts that I did with the diamond core and then I filled it with slip, uh, blue slip, and I then put white over the top and that is lovely, I like that. I was wondering if that would show through. Um, <laughs> now that is smoky merlot on the lava fleck that's really nice we've got lovely reactions on there oh do you know look at that that is blue stone on the on this clay that is stunning that is really nice Okay, so this is just to let you know what exactly happened with all these pots once um, I had had the problem with the lids getting stuck. The worst one, which was tight anyway, was the one with the um, the blue um, under the blue slip and then the white um, snow on top. What I actually did with that one, that was really stuck, and I actually had to grind down both sides um, and I'm using that as a flower pot now. Put some flour in. Um, the next one uh, was I refired. I managed to get this off, but I had some issues with the with the um, the lid and I refired it and the glaze went brown because I did it in the bisque fire. So I subsequently reglazed it and refired it and I actually got a really nice color inside but that one has been uh, double fired because the, the glaze didn't wasn't very good after just a bisque fire temperature. It needed to go hotter. Uh, the, the orange one, interesting enough, you know, because the lid was on, inside has ended up a really um, strong, uh, and uh, like a maroony red. It's not as nice as the potential that we had with this beautiful orange colour. I think it's clear that oxygen air has to get to get this orange color so if i was firing any of this orange again this is the terra color orange um which i found out is scarvas orange actually i would leave the lid off anyway so that there's oxygen going into that one uh this is lovely this again is the um deep uh, deep green speckle one um that really has ended up very nice inside and on the outside it's just pleasing on the eye that's an easy one to look at and here is the blue stone one which i think is, is a winner that blue stone is just a really interesting color uh, when it is on the lava fleck it's um yeah really nice so there you go that's at last you've now at least seen all these pots um <laughs> with the lids off through the little pieces that i've got uh on the lava fleck clay this was me trying the solar red um and, I, and and as i said when it's on the outside it runs so i did leave myself plenty at the top but that's a lovely lovely little uh coffee espresso cup and something i should try some more actually uh, okay right so to make it easier i've got my test tiles in each pot so this is the lava fleck and me trying one single color on all of them apart from one where I have done a layer. So let's start off with this one. This is a wonderful colour on this clay. This is blue rutile. Um, is that not just stunning on its own? That is lovely. I just love the reaction of how the grog causes so much um, interest 
and that is so you can see the difference that's how it looks on a white clay and then that's how it's looking on the on the lava fleck okay then again um, this is not as dramatic this is the deep olive speckle one of my favorites on this um, but I've just sort of left it the same sort of idea there we go and again and really that is looking very very similar on its um, on both clays because it's obviously got the speckle in it so the reaction is quite is quite different for that one uh, there's um, again smoky merlot oh, it's just so nice it's nice to see these glazes just on their own and not having layers you know we all work very hard on doing all the layers don't we um, and there it is on the um, on the white um, the white clay the difference This is indigo float. This is nice. Very, very, very nice. Again, look at that inside. Indigo float is a beautiful colour anyway, but I find it a little bit sweet, if you know what I mean. It's a bit, uh, it, you can either like it or not, but on the on that, that is looking, that is perfect, isn't it? It's got so much difference uh, in it. And let's show you the difference between the two. So you can sort of see how uh, the different clay reacts. There you go. And then we have um, 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 textured turquoise. Again, nice, very interesting. Yeah. So that's textured turquoise. It almost looks like it could have done with another coat, that. one so this is uh indigo float i saw this on an amico site indigo float at the bottom so there's your and you can see some of the indigo float where it's not run down so there's your indigo float you can sort of see that coloration coming in and then over the top uh, the um sapphire float It just works, doesn't it? Look at the back of that, that's lovely. Okay, we'll put them with that. Uh, then deep Sierra, Sienna, is it Sienna or Sierra? Sienna speckle. That's an intense colour, but that has got what looks like almost like metallic marks in it. That's nice. And there's there's your. So realistically, that on both is looking very similar, isn't it? it doesn't really, you know, it's quite a solid colour. Um, and then the last one of those is is snow. Is is snow? That this bowl. This is lost a bit of its shape, um, which probably meant that I did that in its throwing because it's very thin. Um, And really, snow snow is always a bit of a go-to with this. But some lovely reactions there. Okay. Okay, so this is just a recap over the glazes that were used over the lava fleck, the grogged clay. Um, that uh, I will have already put a bit of the video that I did showing the before and then clearly we have the afters. So that was the, the red the um, indigo float, textured turquoise, smoky merlot, deep sienna speckle, snow, sapphire float over iron luster, deep olive speckle, and blue rutile. Some really, really nice finishes going on there. Um, I like the blues actually. Anyway. There you go.